This Oilers versus Golden Knights series is officially an all-out war. Whenever you take a solid two-hand slash at the leading scorer in the NHL playoffs, the entire dynamic of this series changes. However, this incident doesn't happen if the NHL refs don't let this game get out of hand with one missed call. In a 4-1 game, they don't call this cross check from Evander Kane on Petrangelo, and now he feels the need to police the game and take matters into his own hands. As a result, he retaliates by giving Dreisaitl a two-hand slash and the game gets out of hand. Combine that with some missed calls throughout the game against Vegas, the rules just went completely out the window. I called something like this happening in my last video to either Dreisaitl or McDavid because of how dominant they've been. So while I did expect something, I didn't expect it to be a two-hander like this. This series so far actually has been really odd. Aside from game one, Every game after that has been a blowout for either team, but the animosity has been there for both teams throughout all the games. This went to another level when Kane laid a beatdown and then had some nice words for Vegas in the media afterwards. However, this slash by Petrangelo is as malicious as it gets, and it might just be the dirtiest play of the NHL playoffs. With an empty net chance, look at Petrangelo come all the way across the ice with intent. And even when Dreisaitl no longer has the puck, Petrangelo doesn't break eye contact with him and gives him an all-time slash on the wrist. This causes ruckus and gets the attention of Connor McDavid. I love this, by the way, as the best player on earth comes in to defend his teammate, knowing full well he'd probably get his ass kicked. Being the captain, it's important that no matter who got slashed in that moment, you stick up for your teammate. Things would escalate a little bit more afterwards as Nurse would drop the gloves with Nick Hag, and then he blows Vegas a kiss afterwards. Cheeky, I love it. Playoff hockey's amazing. These are the little battles and mind games though that give teams an edge, and right now the momentum is swinging in Edmonton's favor. In this game, Edmonton made Petrangelo's life a living hell. He was on for a goal against, but any chance they got, they took a run at him. This is all a part of Edmonton's game plan, which is to wear down Vegas' best defender. Now, speaking of these little battles and how they come up in very important times throughout the NHL playoffs, Petrangelo probably wants to kill Evander Kane. In game three, as the period was ending and both teams kind of mutually agreed to stop skating, Evander Kane went full tilt at Petrangelo and cross-checked him in the face. In this game again, Kane does the same thing, except he cross-checks Petrangelo from behind with no call. After this, Petrangelo is fuming, the game is over, and he just wants to send a message. So he says, you know what? I'm just going to go two-hand the best player in the playoffs to blow off some steam. Now, some people don't think that these little scrums matter in the bigger picture, but when you see how Edmonton has slowly gotten in the face of Petrangelo in these scrums and during play, it snowballs into something that could potentially change the series and be a huge advantage for the Oilers down the run. Now, as we're making this video, we still don't know if Petrangelo is going to get suspended. I suspect he will. I mean, hopefully, who knows with the NHL nowadays. But if he does, that is a huge advantage for the Oilers. As for the Golden Knights, they just need to settle down here going into Game 5. Taking six penalties in one game against the Oilers is a recipe for disaster. This was a blowout, and Edmonton uncharacteristically only went 1-6 for six on the power play. So if they convert it anymore this game would have been blown wide open it goes without saying but if vegas is going to be undisciplined they're going to find themselves in trouble quickly as for the five on five play there are a couple of notable things edmonton did really well that helped them break through in this game first i thought they did a great job on the four check especially on vegas's best defenders edmonton was finishing checks and hounding vegas's best d as we saw with petrangelo but they also got to shea theodore and that led directly to a goal Another aspect was Edmonton's rush offense followed by sustained pressure. Sometimes the danger with rush chances is it makes you susceptible for a rush chance against if you miss an opportunity. On two Edmonton goals in this game, the initial rush chance failed, but they stuffed the clear, sustained pressure, and it eventually led to a goal. These are some of the things you need to do to generate offense five on five, and for Edmonton, who have struggled in this department, especially against Vegas, this is very encouraging if you're an Edmonton Oilers fan. So right before I'm about to upload this video, I actually got a notification that Darnell Nurse gets a one-game suspension for fighting or instigating a fight in the final five minutes of regulation. I actually didn't even know this was a rule, or if I did, I definitely forgot about it. But but if Petrangelo doesn't get a game or two games, uh, you can imagine how pissed Edmonton Oilers fans are going to be about this. So hopefully the league doesn't blow it, but... There's really no faith in that system anymore, so it is what it is. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on the series as a whole and the Petrangelo Slash and also now the Darnell Nurse suspension. Let me know in the comments down below. And before we end the video, I want to thank our sponsor, Hockey Training. If you're a hockey player who wants to improve your game, 
The hockey training app and YouTube channel is the best place to be. Armed with drills, inspired by some of the greatest NHL players in the world, it is the number one way to take your game to the next level, both on and off the ice. If you're interested, I'll leave the links in the bio down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video and want to see more NHL playoff breakdowns just like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button.